Hello everyone, my name is Manal Abdul. I'm an AutoCAD instructor. I would like to welcome you to the AutoCAD tutorial. The first part of the course, we will go over uh, the uh, AutoCAD interface. We will talk about the drawing tools and uh, some strategies and tips to start your AutoCAD journey. In this video, I'm gonna um, talk about uh, general uh, AutoCAD concepts, also uh, how to use zoom and pan to control our model space and drawings, how to save AutoCAD drawings, uh, how to use uh, drawing tools, and also we're gonna introduce you to object snaps and object snap tracking. We will talk about units and precision, also the snap settings. So let's get started. First thing, most of uh, AutoCAD users prefer to use mouse while they are working. So I really recommend having a mouse. Just make sure you have the mouse and I need you to, um, to use the mouse, especially the middle button here of the mouse. If you scroll it up and down, you're gonna zoom inside your screen. And if you hold it down, uh, you're gonna pan. And um, so you're gonna control the screen. Uh, I will show you how to do that. Uh, but just make sure before you start this course to have a mouse connected to your laptop or to your computer. That will make the AutoCAD very easy for you. Uh, also here that we need to make sure that you understand some concepts about this mouse. Uh, the mouse here, the left click, select objects. So if we need to select any object, any line, any circle, if we need to delete, if we need to modify, if we need to um, edit any object, so we make left click with the mouse. However, the right click, shortcut menus, uh, as you see here, you get right click, you'll get more options. And this is very helpful. If you select any line, right click, you see what you can do. So you have some um, options and this is the right click. So pan, zoom, shortcut menu and left click. Uh, this is very important things. Um, this image is taken from a PDF AutoCAD guide produced by uh, Autodesk. I'm gonna add this to the comments, so make sure you check the description of this video. When you finish watching this video, you will be ready to watch the videos provided in the description section below for practice drawings. So I recommend watching some uh, videos and practice after watching the first part and before proceeding to part two. This is the references, also I'm gonna add them. This is the book that I recommend and uh, I'm gonna add uh, some references, so make sure you are check them out. Uh, let's go to AutoCAD and let's get ready. So this is AutoCAD 2021. When you open your AutoCAD 2021, even if you are using previous versions, um, you will find something similar. So even if you're using 2020 or 2017, some of uh, my students using 2017, so it is fine. You will have probably the same thing. You just need to um, adjust a little bit of information, but you will be fine even if you're using other versions. Now, uh, this is the start uh, drawing. Here you can click on it to start a new drawing from scratch. If you have um, a drawing that you already created, so you can click on open file. And here you go. You can open it from them. Uh, down here you have the recent documents, the most recent documents, and you have a pin. If you need that to be always there, you can pin it to the top. If not, look at that. So pin. So it will go back, unpin or pin. So if you are using some documents frequently, make sure you pin it. Uh, something else here I need to talk about. You have two panels, you have create and learn. So this is a create here and this is learn. If you click on learn, you will find some very useful uh, videos created by Autodesk. Okay, so this is uh, the videos here created by Autodesk and you can um, just watch them. Uh, what's new, um, 
every time when Autodesk um, publish new uh, AutoCAD versions, uh, you will see what's new. So that will compare it to the previous version. Also here, online resources, I really uh, recommend checking this out. If you click on that, it will take you to uh, the online resources, explore training materials, very useful training materials that uh, I recommend uh, going over them. Okay, always we can uh, go between learn and create. So that will uh, give you back. Uh, if you have Autodesk account, if you have the student version or the trial or um, uh, the premium with subscription, so just make sure you are signed in uh, to your account before you get started. Now let's start a new drawing. I'm going to click on start a drawing. Okay, and here you go. This is uh, the model space or the drawing space. Here we draw, and as you see there, uh, this uh, one has lines, which is great. And if, I, if you use the middle button of the mouse, as I showed you in the picture, uh, you can scroll up and down so you can zoom in and zoom out. Okay, now we're going uh, smaller. So you can scroll uh, the middle button to zoom in and zoom out. Now, uh, always we draw in AutoCAD scale one to one. That means we do not scale anything, we just draw it the actual size on the model space. Then when you need to print out or go to the layout view, you can scale. So remember, you always draw the actual size. Here on the top, we have the application menu, this little letter A here. If you click on it, you have options. You can save your drawing, Control S, or save as. If you need to create another copy of your drawing, you can save it as with a different name to use it as a template. Also, uh, you have print. Okay. Uh, also, you have um, a close. With a close here, you can close current drawing or all drawings. So if you open several drawings, you can just go close and all drawings. Also, we do have here options. If you click the options, uh, you have display. You have several options, several tabs, but we need to talk now about display. And this is the light and dark. Here we change the color. If you would like the light or the dark version, see how what the difference now. I'm going to make it dark, apply. Now I do have here uh, the panel is dark. If you prefer light, apply. Okay, now I have the light version. Now I click. Okay, so that's how you use the application menu. You can save your file. Uh, if I need to save, I click save or control S. That will open it, um, open the dialog to save your drawing. And uh, then you need to uh, navigate to the place where you want to uh, save it. Okay, so let's say I need to save it there. I uh, give it a name. Uh, drawing one, whatever the name. I really recommend using meaningful names like chapter one, chapter two, building two, uh, Philly building, whatever the drawing, some meaningful uh, name to tell you exactly what, what it is. And always remember to uh, to know where did you save it. If you save it on one drive, which is the cloud storage, that's fine. But always make sure to remember where did you save it. Uh, the drawing file should be .dwg, which is AutoCAD drawing. Okay, so just leave that as DWG, save it and click save. Now your drawing is saved. So we've talked so far about the model space, how to zoom in and zoom out using the middle button of your um, mouse. Also, you have the application menu to save. Now let's move on here. This is the ribbon. Uh, we have on the ribbon several tabs home, insert, annotate parametric view manage and so on we will start today with the home tab so make sure you are on the home tab we have several panels okay the panels are these here this is a group called panel so here we have the draw panel we have the modify uh, annotation to put dimensions and text layers to create layers then you have blocks properties and so on now the first panel is draw. If it happens that one of these panels is not there, what we can do, we can right click, show panels, make sure you have it. For example, 
if I click here on the draw, so now I'm not having the draw panel, but if I right click, show panel, click again, so that will bring the draw panel. So if it happened that you don't see any of these panels and you want them, make sure to right click, show panel, and make sure it is there. The second thing, the tabs. Uh, this is the tabs on the top, also similar, similar way. Um, if you right click and um, just for example, if I deleted that one, so I don't have the home tab anymore. So if you don't find the home tab, right click tabs and click on it again. So it is there. Now, uh, these panels are floating panels. That means I can drag them, put them anywhere and I can put them back again. Okay. So here you will find that I do have the home tab. This is the draw. So see here, they are just flipped. I can bring it back. So they are floating image uh, panels that I can just uh, move them from place to place by dragging and dropping them to other places. Okay. So uh, this is the drawing or the model space. Uh, this is the tabs, panels, and this is the ribbon. Uh, this is the draw. I'm going to put the draw back here. Okay. So this is the draw, what we will start with. Now we do have something important in AutoCAD called command line. This is the command line. And here again, it's a floating. Uh, if it happened that you click by mistake the X and you don't find your command line, um, the best way to go to control nine. So control nine will bring back the command line. Another thing that I need to talk about, uh, which is the view. Uh, sometimes we miss, for example, here we have layout tabs. Uh, here, this is the layout. If I click on it, so I'm no longer have this layout. So if you miss some elements in your AutoCAD, probably you need to check the view and see if you have it or not. Again, here we have the start and here we have the drawing one. You can create more drawing by clicking on this plus sign. Okay, so now we have several drawing. What about if I don't find these tabs? I go to file tabs, look now, I don't have them anymore. Click again, they are there. So if you are missing any of the tabs uh, or the layout, or maybe this is the U, uh, the UCS icon, the access X and Y, if you miss it, also it's there. This is the view cube. Um, if you are using the view cube, it's there. You can hide it. Navigation bar, this is navigation bar here. Okay, also you can turn it on and off. You can hide it. So here you go, you have several things over there. Uh, here we have uh, the command line also, you can uh, hide it. So I no longer have the command line, I can bring it from there or by clicking control nine. Okay, so this is the command line. Let's go back to the home tab and start drawing. The first thing I need to talk about is snap setting. The snap setting um, is on the status bar here. As you see on the status bar, we have model space, we have layout. This is the print where we print our drawing. So now we're working on the model space. Down here, we do have several, uh, several icons. I'm not going to talk about all of them in part one, but I will uh, go over some of them. The first thing we have a drawing a grid. If you turn it on, you know it is on and off. When it's on, it's a blue. So I'm gonna click again. Okay, so that will uh, turn it on. And you see, this is the grids. This is the grids on the back. Uh, I need to talk about the snap mode. Snap mode is important if you need to use the points of the grids, you, you need to snap over the grids. Um, let's see what I mean here, because this is very important and lots of questions about it. Um, I got lots of questions from my students. If you go on the line and to draw, I'll start a line command by clicking on line. 
specify first point, I need to click a point. So I'm clicking on any point. Okay, now specify second point. Okay, this is the second point and I hit enter to end the command. I will talk more about the line. I just need you now to focus on uh, what I'm saying about uh, the uh, settings of the snap mode. So here you see that it's not attached to uh, the grid. If you zoom in, it is not attached to the grid. Uh, so let's start another one. I need to go closer. I cannot draw here and it's not attached. Now, if I need to draw another line from right from the end of this, I will try to go close as I can. But if I go closer, it's not very accurate. Let's try again. I need you to try while you are watching. Go very close and try to get the end of this line, okay? As close as you can. If you go closer, it's not accurate. So actually we need to find a way to be accurate when you connect lines. So I'm gonna delete that and show you some ways. The first way is to set the snap setting. So I will again here, I click on the little arrow um, here, this little arrow and go to snap setting. With the snap setting, I need to set the snap on snap x i need to make the one okay so the x and y are one and i will make in this case um the grid one and the major line every five that means i have lines on the grid on the background and um, the grid spacing the spacing between the lines is one and I need a thick line or major line every five lines. That is the grid. So it's like a grid paper. Now the snapping, if you set it one, that means you will jump or snap every one. This is something customizable. You can change it. You can put any number you want. For now, I'm going to keep it one for this, uh, the purpose of this exercise. So let's make that on. Let's choose that once. This is five and hit OK. Now, if you zoom in, we have major lines every five grids. This is the major line. Snap is on. I know it is on because it's a blue. Now I'm going to draw line. And see, now my mouse is jumping over the grids. Okay, see it is jumping. If I turn that off, I'm free. The mouse is free and it will not pick this point. Now turn it on again and I'm jumping over this grid. Now let's start the line command line or we can type L enter on the command line. Okay, so I started line command, specify first point. I will go pick this point. So now I'm picking the correct point. Specify second point. I'm gonna count five squares and click. Count five squares, click five, five. Now, if I go closer, my lines are accurate and they are connecting perfectly. So it's a clean drawing. Let's start line, another line, and draw. Pick the point, enter. I can press enter again or spacebar to repeat the line command, or I can just go to the line on the top. So here you go. I draw this drawing very fast and clean. Now I need to show you something else here called dynamic input. If you turn that on, as you see, it is dynamic input. It's off now. I'll turn it on. See what happened now that I will click the line command and see that I have some instructions on uh, the screen telling me specify first point and give me some measurements. So I'm gonna click the specify. Now specify next point. Okay, so it's, it's kind of guiding me uh, through the process. Now I'll keep clicking. I'll keep clicking over there to complete the drawing. Okay, now I still have one 
piece. So I'm going to start line or enter again. And see now, if I click there, I will pick the point. OK, if I zoom in, it is so clean, even if I zoom more in using the middle button of my mouse. So this is the way or this is one way to use uh, the snap setting just to pick uh, the points of your um, grids to to draw. Now I need to show you something else. I'm going to draw some um, lines and I'm going to draw circles. OK, so let's draw some lines over there. I'll start with a point. So the snap setting is one for now. I'm going to start some drawing. OK, so count here three. OK, don't worry about this. Just draw something randomly using uh, the snap setting. OK. So just try to make some lines and try to make it symmetrical just as you practice. Okay, so here we got three to the left. Let's get three to the right. Okay, as you see there, now we go to the same one. We got five. Okay, now we get uh, three here, as you see on uh, the dynamic. Um, inputs. So here we go uh, up. Let's go there. Let's go there. So let's do some drawing here. If it happened that I did a mistake and I need to delete here some parts. So how to delete? It's very important to know how to select and how to delete. To delete some parts, the first thing you need to select it, which part you need to delete. So I need to delete that one because it doesn't look good. So I left click to select it and see here I have some grips. Now I have delete or erase or I can click delete on the keyboard. OK, so I deleted that. Now I could go to line again. Pick the point, pick the point and pick the last point and hit enter to finish this drawing. Now, if you need to draw a circle, okay, um, you have circle here, center, radius, you have different options. Center radius, center diameter, two point, three point, tangent, tangent, radius, tangent, tangent, tangents. Let's get some options here. Click center radius. What we have on the screen, if you have your dynamic input on, you'll find some information on the screen. If it's off, just follow what you have on the command line. Circle specify center. So the center, we need to see what the center. Now, if I need here the center to be in the middle, my, uh, my snap is one, so it doesn't work. I needed to make it smaller. So let's make that. We can change it at any time. OK, so I need to make it smaller. That means I'm snapping between uh, the grids. OK, so now uh, let's say that I need this point or this point. So I decide the point that I need. Now I see the diameter or the radius that depends on what kind of what option did you choose to, uh, to draw it. So now specify radius as you see there, specify radius or as you see on the screen, specify radius. I need to type the radius or just if you see it's there now it's 1.5 or I can type it if I need it one I, I type one and hit enter. So this is the way. If you need to have another one center diameter. You pick the specify center point left click to select now the diameter as you see you are putting the diameter if I need the diameter to be four. I type four and hit. Now, if you need to draw another circle diameter, you pick the center point. Now you put the diameter and enter. Now let's draw some other shapes. Let's draw rectangle. And we are still on the home tab and this is the rectangle. I'm gonna draw here, specify first point, 
and then you open select the second corner repeat specify first point specify the other corner by the way here there are several options on the command line that you need you can choose from so you can only simply select or pick the dimensions or rotation to put the angle for now let's make it this way and i'll provide more details in my upcoming videos so let's pick here the corner and here you go we created a rectangle so we created this shape uh, now i need to show you how uh, to create arc the arc you can create it in several ways as well uh, let's get three points you click on the three point specify start point let's say that i need here to create an arc uh, specify the start point okay i'm gonna start at this point so i click on it uh, the second point which is specify second point center or end okay i'm gonna click center for example and this is the center and this is the end so now you you need to decide um how to draw it and this is counterclockwise okay so remember it it goes from uh counterclockwise so this is the direction now let's draw one more time start center end so specify start specify center and this is uh, the middle and end okay so here you go so start center end when you finish you still have the common drawing so if you need to draw more you can zoom in zoom out and use the pan see this little hand i'm holding the middle button of the mouse i'm holding it just to pan just to make now zooming in and out will not change the dimensions it will only uh, help you to zoom in like the magnifier to say it clearly but will not change the dimension so um, if i zoom in that will stay the same size now this is five it will stay five even if you zoom in or zoom out it will stay five so uh, feel free to zoom in and out uh, use the pan just this little hand when you need to move when you're drawing and now if i need to draw here uh, arc start center end okay so start center end counterclockwise the same thing here if you need to draw an arc start center and end Now, as you see now, this is wrong because the center was not in the middle. So the best way is to delete it, okay? So to delete again, select and hit the erase or the delete button. Also, what we can do is using grips. And this grips, the thing that you see here, the blue dot called the grips. And if you click on any one that make it uh, red, then you can drag it and drop it and you can have some more options to modify using the grips as you can go further okay you can go there so this is one way to modify using the grips now if i need to uh, select you can if you need to select this to delete it i can select it this way by clicking on every uh, single line or I can left click and open a window to delete everything inside the window. So left click on the screen, open a blue window or crossing window, okay? Or what uh, you can do, left click and go down and that will open uh, the crossing window, which is, um, the green window that you can go down here and everything crossed will be selected and you can delete okay uh, make sure you you watch our my video about the selecting methods for more information about how to select in autocad so we, what we've did today uh, we went over uh, the autocad application how to save the file uh, we use line we use uh, circle 
we used uh, arc, we used rectangle, and this is the best way to uh, start your drawing. Also, what we did today is um, uh, changing the snap mode, uh, how to make it on the grids and the snap, how to change the snap setting. Okay, now I need to show you before we move on, uh, one way about uh, object snap. Now I need to turn off the snap and if I draw a line, okay, I see now I don't have, um, like if I draw the line, it's not really horizontal or vertical. Now I need to show you here something. We can draw line uh, and using the ortho mode. The ortho mode, if you click on this little icon here, which ortho mode or F8, you can keep your lines vertical and horizontal. So click line, click on any point. Now you can uh, draw a line giving dimensions. If it's 10, okay, 10, I give dimension 10 and I'm drawing um, using the dimension. So you just type 10 and here you can see enter. C will close it. C enter and that is a square. Now I need to show you something called object snap. This is object snap. If you turn it on, then you click on this little arrow. You can choose, I'm gonna make the end point only. So this is the end point. Uh, using object snap is very helpful uh, to pick some points of any objects. In this case, I'm gonna pick the end point, the end point of an object. So if here I need to draw a line, I go, closer and I see this little uh, square that show me this is an uh, end point. So I can click on it when I see it and that exactly what I need. So I can give dimension and direction. The dimension here, if I need to put 20, I need uh, to go down. So the direction down, okay? If this is bothering you, you can always turn off the dynamic input. Some students like it, some of them don't. So you can turn it on and off as you go, the dynamic input. The dynamic input uh, is on, so you see some instructions on screen. If it's uh, off, you will not see it. Now you go here, you see the end point again. When you see that square, you left click the mouse and you hit enter. So here you go. If I need to draw a circle, center radius, if I need to be um, the center of the circle, the end point, so I click that one and skip the radius. If I need it to be two, here you go. Okay, let's draw using diameter, end point, and here two. Okay, so this is uh, radius and this is a uh, diameter and radius, we can use them. So again, radius, pick the point and two. So that is what we're looking for. So again, uh, this is for the grid here, the status bar, we have uh, F7 for the grid, and we have uh, down here F9 for snap mode. We have dynamic input that give you some more um, instruction on the screen. Ortho mode will tell you, um, uh, if you turn it on, you will keep your lines uh, horizontal and vertical. Also, the last thing we talked about today, object snap. When you turn it on, you can decide which object snap you want. And what we talked about today is end point. Okay, so uh, in this video, we've talked about um, AutoCAD interface in general, how we use zoom and pan uh, using the middle button of the mouse. Also how to save AutoCAD from the application menu. We've talked about some of the drawing tools. We've talked about lines, circles, uh, rectangles, arcs. Um, and uh, we've talked about uh, object snap uh, and units. Uh, we need to, still we need to talk about object snap tracking and units per session, and we've talked about snap uh, setting today. So let's uh, go uh, over object snap tracking and uh, units per session for this. Now, as you see here, uh, we, we've did uh, the object the snap, but we need to use the object snap tracking, which is next to that, so we will click on it. The purpose of this to track the points. For example, if I need to draw a line, and I go over the endpoint, I'll get a line here, 
Okay, see this dashed green line? This object snap tracking. So I can start at this point, go down 10, okay, and continue the drawing. I'll give direction up and see enter to close. So I track the point. If, if the object snap tracking is off and I start drawing the line, I'll not get a line to track. But if I turn the object snap on, I will get uh, a line uh, to track. So let's say that I need to draw a center diameter of this and it should be right above. So I need this tracking line, uh, the green line, and I hit enter, then I put two, enter. So this is the object snap tracking. Okay, and you can turn it on and off F11 or just click on it. Now we need to talk about units. The last thing in this video about units and precision. As you see, when you draw, we just draw by, by, with units. We didn't um, uh, say it is centimeters, uh, millimeters, it's inches. So the best way to decide on the unit is to go to the application menu drawing utilities and choose the units, okay? And if this is drawing, it's decimal. However, uh, we can make it architectural, okay? And this is the precision. You can decide uh, the precision that you want for the fractions, if it's half, fourth, or eighth, or more. The smaller, the more accurate, but you can decide on the precision. When you draw with architectural, that is inches feet and inches. We will talk more about how uh, to draw with feet and inches uh, in other videos. Uh, but for now, I just need you to know that we can change the units actually. If you go with decimal, you can change uh, uh, the units that you, you want. And uh, if you go, for example, engineering, if you can change the units and you can change the precision, like how many uh, decimal points after uh, the uh, decimal places after the decimal point. So it is important to know. The same thing for angles. So if you are drawing any arc using angles, you can change the precision. Because sometimes um, you say, for example, I did the ang angle uh, 23.5, but it didn't give me uh, the correct angle because the precision is not correct. So my, maybe Maybe it's rounded up or down. So you need to make sure you have the correct precision and to be more accurate if you need uh, to get smaller fractions. Uh, so here you go. Another way to get the units is to type UN, enter, and you get the units from there. Um, always we have shortcuts, uh, which is uh, aliases for uh, the command. So UN is the alias for a unit, uh, L is the shortcut for line. So if you start typing L, you will get here line on the top and you can just type L enter to start a line command. Also, uh, you have a circle. If you go start, start typing the first thing of the circle C, the first letter, and you will see that you got circle. So C enter to draw a circle, C or to to copy. So C, enter to draw a circle. Okay, uh, so um, in this video, uh, we've talked about uh, how to draw uh, basic information in uh, AutoCAD, uh, how to draw lines, circles, rectangles, how to um, set object snap, which is the endpoint for today, how to make object snap tracking to track any points using this uh, green lines, also how to set the units precision and the snap setting, uh, which uh, we already set it to one today, but you can uh, change that setting. I hope you find this video helpful. Make sure to watch our uh, next videos uh, as soon as they are provided. Uh, thank you very much.